Good morning, traders. Welcome to the Asia Preview, North American Wrap at Privateer, Friends of Privateer FX. So I've had a um, some technical difficulties. And uh, I'm hoping that the new monitor situation is going to work out okay. So we're going to give this thing a test run today. But uh, we should be back in business. Um, anyhow, let's take a look at Kiwi dollar. Um, kind of an indecision day after a you know, decent run up. We've been long this thing for the past week or so. Doesn't like it up here <coughs> over uh, 67 cents. A little indecisive day here. And then the, the trade balances came out. Um, pretty big miss, actually. It got down to 66, 30 ish. And uh, we've lightened up. Um, we do have the RBNZ tomorrow. So that would be the next uh, next driver for, for Kiwi. Here's the British pound. Um, you know, a few headlines here this afternoon that I don't know. I didn't really think there were anything new. There is the, uh, the that big merger going on and uh, some decent demand for the British pound. So we saw a, a huge bid that came in around. Uh, let me go to the hourly chart. Huge bid in cable, about a half a yard, I believe it was, came in right around. Um, I think it was on this bar, fifty. It was right here. It was, it was kind of on this bar. Um, actually, it was this bar here. Um, so it looks like there's still some M&A demand. Uh, the, the daily chart is, you know, looks somewhat constructive. Don't have a strong opinion. This is just a Brexit headline trade, similar to a good segue into Dollar Canada, which. In the past couple hours, there were headlines coming out saying, um, most recently, uh, Canada not making concessions needed for NAFTA deal, the USA says. So that's a little disturbing. Um, Dollar Canada hasn't really moved much at all on that. Um, you know, a slight bid tone to it. Um, there was an article that came out um, from JP Morgan saying if, the, if there is a NAFTA blow up, the Canadian dollar could drop uh, by as much as 10%. It's a pretty, uh, pretty bold call from our friends at JP Morgan. But anyhow, we had an indecision day. You know, obviously not doing anything here on the on the Asian Open, but um, again, that's just a it's a headline headline game. Dollar yen is just continuing to grind higher with the higher U.S. yields, and uh, no one seems to be on this. There's a good old high here at one thirteen eighteen, and we will be watching the price action closely um, at that old daily high. So, you know, we're not too far away. It's from 13 to figure. There, there seem to be some offers here right around the figure. I suspect that they'll take those out during, uh, during the early Asian session. Um, got the FOMC tomorrow. They're expected to hike rates, obviously. Um, not a whole lot else going on. Equities, let's pop over the S&Ps. We're becoming a little bit concerned about the S&Ps. And the way it made the new high, and then couldn't couldn't make another new high close, and, you know, kind of rolling over, We're getting in a quarter end. So there's a lot of window dressing and whatnot. Um, I'm staying out of this market until after the third quarter ends. Um, you know, but back to the back to the currency space. Um, across yen in general, uh, you know, dollar yen, euro yen, sterling yen, all of this looks. Um, Sterling in close over the 200-day moving average today. Uh, second time, we'll see. Um, we'll see how that goes. But um, you know, we're 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 becoming cautious on some of these yen crosses up here. 
and and we have some small short positions on. We'll look to add on add to them if we uh, if we get a turn lower in risk. Anyhow, that should do it. Good luck. You'll hear from us on the European Open, and we'll speak to you tomorrow. Have a great day. Cheers.